Now, as you saw in the last episode, we got this buckle bit here done. And we got some of these done, which go here. So this buckle fits here, like so. And this will pull the valve rod in and out. And at the other end is this one, which goes onto our combination lever. Like so. But what we now need to do is make a link that goes from here to this one, which will have a little joggle in it because these, this and this aren't actually in line. They are stepped. Really the best thing to have done would be to have moved the valve rod over in the valve chest uh, and made the valve lopsided, so to speak, inside the uh, valve chest. But never mind, we will put the wiggle in as the drawing says. And uh, for that, I've made this jig. I'm going to use a piece of 10mm stainless. So we're going to want heat somewhere around there. I don't know if that's coming up on the screen, but she is red. We don't want it to go too far. And then basically put her in. And bend, and that'll do. And then we'll clamp that right down. Put our pin in. It's nice and flat that way. And now it's a case of heating this bit up and going back the other way. Now this will take a lot more heat because obviously we've got all this surrounding metal work. Need a colour change there. This is ready. There we go. Obviously it'll be quite warm. Well, there we are. You might need tweaking, but uh, that's the majority of the uh, the work done there. We'll let that cool. We'll come back. A few minutes later. Right, so it's now cooled enough. And looking down it, it looks straight that way. They look parallel. As close as they can, if you look. If I can get that. Looks straight that way. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean. A bit of scotch bright And a bit of, uh, bit of oil. This is AC90. And that... We'll come up beautifully. Now you can see there's a little little mark there and a little mark there, but for what we've just done to it, it's uh, it's not too bad. Let's get some threads on the ends. Now, amazingly, this fits in here. Now, as you can see, I've put a little mark on it where we want the thread to go to. Literally, we're just tidying end up, really. And a bit of this on it. And I need that. Now I'm covered in it. Right, so this is a M10 by one die. Now, obviously, as I'm rotating that, I am turning the tailstock to keep the die flat and square, or as square as possible, until we get, get it going. Always nervous of doing a fine thread. It's called Wonder Double Thread. We should be all right now, though, because we're through the die. M10 by one nuts. That goes on very nicely. That'll do. Right, I shall flip this round, get the other end done, and then I'll meet you at the steam engine. There we are. That is our valve rod complete. And uh, I have two. So obviously one is for the other side. Well, this one's going to go on this side. Let's put it on. 
I will put the rod end that's over here on. Now these eventually are basically locking nuts. Uh, hopefully we can put that in here. For now, somewhere there. Then we put that in there. <laughs> hey, look at that. We'll hold this vertical and uh, we'll see if it um, goes in and out like it should. Hopefully this doesn't catch on here. We've got hissing noises. Right, I'll get the other side on. A few moments later. So that's this side on. Now, I have done no valve timing with this whatsoever. So how it sits is basically how it's been put together. <laughs> So there we go, how fantastic is that? We can just about hear it's beeped. We've not set anything, nothing is set. It's just literally all thrown on. But as regards to the basic valve gear, we're done. We are complete, we've made all the pieces. We just, there's some fine tweaking to do. There's some little amendments here and some oilers to put on and whatnot, but it's uh, quite amazing. Before we start adjusting the valve gear into some form of correct positions and getting it running on air, we need a reverser and we need the pipe work at the front end and we kind of sort of need to start looking at sealing up some of the cylinders a little bit because there's a lot of a lot of air leaks going on there and when we come to run it on air the air is just going to escape it's just going to depart the cylinders um, through the fact that nothing is attached i suppose we better start with the uh, reverser so talking of the reverser here are some bits that I've had laser cut. We've got the uh, main handle here. We'll pivot from a hole here, linkage there, and then the mechanism that will go into the slots will fit here. We've got the two arms that will lift the mechanism. We've got the link that will go from there to the die block. And then we've got the main body here, which is uh, where we're going to start. In fact, that goes that way around. 6.8 mil drill for an M8. Um, obviously this is going to be slightly hardened, so we'll just have to see how we do. Uh, let's just go. Beautiful. No problem. Right. Machine tap, it's one at best I've got that. Now they're done, we need a pair of washers to hold that second piece off. So I'm just going to make the washers out of this here. It's a bit of uh, ENA, 25mm diameter. Eight mil should be sufficient. Just having an eight mil bolt through.
that should be plenty. It's coming. It's coming. Any second. Yay! Not so much a Yatsi though. Done. So there it will go here and here with this piece here on. Voila. Ah, uh, there we go. No. This should. Yes, very nice. Okay, so I've just nipped and cut this on the uh, bandsaw, and I've just taken off the scale because this is going to sit in here. And this is going to become our catch to catch when it's in forwards, reverse, neutral, neutral, mid gear. I've also found some six mil rod, which is going to be uh, welded on the end for these to go on, which I have opened the holes out, but they just need a little bit more, just a little tiny bit more. There's nothing exciting about this really. It's just a simple touch off. And a quick skim. Just to square the end off. Grand scheme of things, I'd loop. I need to chamfer two sides of the end of one where it sits in the slot. Should do it. Go to the other side, get the other side done. So that uh, little chamfer that I've just done, that will help guide it into the slot when it's like up here or down here. So next we need to cut out these bits here. And then we've got to put that pin across the top. I've marked some lines on. I'm just going to cut out a bit of this corner and a bit of that corner, just so we don't have to keep machining, make it a bit lighter. Right, so we're cut out. And we are set up to uh, do this little notch, get it all nice and square, and then we'll flip it over to the other side. So last thing to do on this piece is I'm going to use this 6mm end mill and I'm going to go into the end when we put that pin in, it sits in and then I'll I'll weld it, it weld it on. There we go. When I come to weld that on it's going to sit perfectly in the middle I've got that pin cut down to length and now I just need to get this uh, set up and weld it on Good. Well, that should do it. Let's see if it fits in the slot. Oh, yes, very nice. So that will go in there. 
and then I don't know if the linkage goes this way or this way yet but for now we'll go that way and then as you pull the lever up here this will pull it up so you can then move it to forwards and then it'll slot back down into a slot here but yeah nice I don't even know if you can see that that is the smallest centre drill I have and uh, we're going to drill a couple of small holes through the end of this piece of the reverser for a, a really small drill that's really small uh, it, it did make a mark this might not be a small drill for very long made it through so i had to go up the next size drill so this is a two mil drill um it still seems very small for my locomotive but uh, as we're putting in one of these and that seems like a decent size uh, it fits in very well right let's drill this side So it goes together like this there's a washer under the arm and then we put the arm on and then another washer and then this pin will go through obviously we'll bend the pin round once we get a bit further uh, and then up here out of this piece of steel we're going to make the mechanism that lifts that up so we're going to leave this video right here and if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button that will help this video like all my others share around to like-minded people and if you haven't already then please do consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release one of these fabulous videos with that i'll see you in the next one laters <laughs>